hello 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 my kittens welcome back to another live stream and today we're going to be checking out grounded for the very first time which i'm super super excited about i have waited for this game to release on ps5 forever it was a dream and now it's a reality and here it is so i am playing this for the very first time which is going to be super super fun and super awesome I did try to link up to my Xbox account, but sadly there seems to be issues today, so it is what it is. Have I gone live on YouTube yet? Uh, YouTube hasn't gone live. Why is YouTube... There we go. YouTube is live. Wow, that took forever. Very delayed today. Okay, we're live on YouTube. We're live on Twitch. Both platforms. Watch wherever you're comfiest. Sorry about that. Had to make sure it was working a-okay. Okay, Nightbot is in the chat. The tweet has gone out. Excellent. So today I might be going solo on this just because I couldn't link my account. Um, as always, VIPs are welcome to join or let me know if you've got it on PS5 if you are a VIP and we can play together. But until it's resolved, I won't be able to play with Xbox players, basically. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um... Blondes, we there we go. I am live on YouTube, right? Someone please tell me, because it's not loading for me. It's just endlessly buffering. So let me know in the chat if I am live. <laughs> I don't want to jump into the game until I know that for sure. Okay, let's see. YouTube is shit in the bed today. Okay, yes, there we go, finally. Right. Close that, close that. Good to go. Excellent. Lovely. Jubbly. So, in this game, you are small. <laughs> you are teeny tiny, and we're going to have to see about surviving. So, will I survive? <laughs> it should be fun. Um, I have had my diploma in small land i guess so i can take some of that survival knowledge into grounded there's lots of comparisons between the two um so we shall see but i played small land first and then i'm gonna play grounded so i'm coming at it from the other side of things i guess <laughs> okay so shall we jump into the game then let's get this show on the road as always, check out all the links on the Twitch panels and also in the video description on YouTube to learn about me, support the channel, join the community, and so, so much more. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's switch to the gameplay uh, screen. So I have messed with the settings chat. Um, the sound should be okay. If there's any issues, please do let me know. I did do some checks before I went live, but as always, we all know, Technology is not my friend, so we will just have to see how it goes. <laughs> okay, so single player, let's do it. New game. Let's go. Mode selector. Let's have a look. The yard is a hostile environment, but stats are more forgiving and friendly. Fire is off. Recommended for first time visits to the yard. Medium, moderate stress level. Manage first hunger, health, and stamina while you fight to survive. The most punishing way to live the tiny life, bugs are tougher, vitals are harder to keep filled, and everything breaks faster. And we've got creative, zero stress, craft and explore with no resource management or um, existential threats. Insects will not be present in the yard. Oh, that, whoa, really? I guess that's just for pure building purposes then, I suppose. Um, this one is created with bugs, craft and explore with no resource management but insects will be present and then custom obviously make your own game so i think because it is a survival game i do, would like to still have first hunger and health and stamina um i did use that on small land but i did do a bit of tweaks to it i don't want it fully off i think i should go on medium so that's what i'm gonna do right i get to pick my character Hoops, Pete, Willow, or Max. Willow looks like an absolute baddie. Emo chick, I feel like. Maybe. Hoops is cute, lots of pink. Uh, I think I'll go with... I like Willow. Willow looks so cool. I'm going to go with Willow. Hey, I'm Willow. 
Willow Branch. Yep, that's my name. Yard will name. Oh, I just pressed X. <laughs> I guess I didn't name my world. Um, does it randomize it then? <laughs> I have no idea. Oops. First mistake. What an absolute clown. Whoopsie. <laughs> Is this a real cartoon? Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between Small the in the garden. <laughs> this could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers. Well, it's wearing the channel colours exactly. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please it was fated. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, often practical technology is some... How's the sound chat? Is it okay? Does anything need altering? Please let me know. How old are they meant to be? They look like young teen, don't they? To me. This whole like music is giving me Stranger Things vibes. <laughs> and I need to do another rewatch yet again of Stranger Things. Before the last season comes out, I wanna rewatch it all. <laughs> That's cute, your your kitty avatar grew a red nose when you mentioned clown. I've got quite a few hockey expressions now and outfits and stuff. I'm slowly looking at things. I found a spray bottle, you know, where you spray, spray a, a pet that's being naughty, which I don't really agree with in real life, but it's fine because I'm an avatar, so you can spray me if you like. <laughs> I don't have it yet, though. I'm going to sort that out. I'm slowly adding more things over time. It's fun. I like it really fun. Oh, we start in a little suitcase. Investigate your surroundings. Ooh. Cave nightmare. My favourite. Well, what version is it? Endless cave, bottomless pit, and possibly claustrophobic passages. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> That's well cool. Actual little indentations of human bodies. What is that noise? Is there something? There's something scuttling around. I can hear scuttling. I can hear scuttling! And it's not me. Ooh, I like the graphics, by the way. Obviously, they're a lot more stylized and cartoony than what I'm used to on Small Land, but I still like them nonetheless. Uh, CJ says Mal still has those settings, by the way. Oh, right, so I still could have managed my hunger and everything. Plant fibre. This will be basic building material, I think. Probably should collect as much as I can, really. Oh, I got some water. Is that an aphid? It's pretty cute up close. Oh. Beat it, nosy. <gasps> Whoa, and that's not an alarm clock. I don't know, it's cute! Oh, whatever it is. Maybe I should figure out where it's coming from. You know, until I wake up. Totally wake me up. This is bad. Really bad. Time to wake up, Willow. Okay, I should probably follow the signal, but I kind of, I, like, in these games, I'm in explore mode now. Oh my god, this really shows you how small you are. I mean, look at the size of that baseball. Humongo chungo! We are teeny tiny. What's this? This is a leaf. Can I run? Yes, I can run. Click in the left stick to run. 
Oh, yay, a little base. Are we safe here? What's this? Chocolate. Grumbles, granola, oh, granola bar. Nice. Yeah, the graphics are nice, actually. There must be someone in charge of this science experiment. But I haven't seen any signs of anyone else. Good one, Nightmare. Keep me guessing. Terminal. I can't do anything with the terminal. Yeah, look for more science equipment. There is an option in the settings to have all text read out, by the way, um, which I might do, to be honest. Oh, by the way, can you change the game mode once you've started a game or not? Would I have to start again? Just out of curiosity. Okay, so I'll read this out and then I might actually turn on in the settings for text to be read out because I think that would just save my voice a lot <laughs> and would be very helpful. Power fluctuations are within an acceptable range. The machine itself continues to operate as expected. Clever proofing of the platform components is holding up quite well. The pylons, however, are a finicky trio. Maintaining the beam angles requires regular obstruction removal. The yard is simple. Uh, simply too alive for precision instruments. Um, Euclidean space, you fickle mistress. I don't know if I said that right. Reminder, check M beginning cell diagnostic before end of day protocols. Okay, so if I just go into options, just so I can show you this, accessibility. So text is just regular size right now but you can there's loads of accessibility options which is really really awesome so you can make text large large hood wide interaction if you want you can also uh make the spiders not spiders make them blobs if you uh <laughs> if you are particularly scared of spiders that is okay so i've left everything mostly on default but here we go read to me when this is enabled the game will narrate aloud the text content of on-screen elements so i'm going to turn this on and we're going to see what it's like options menu paused options cross button for game options, all right options, okay one button for pre show tutorial audio yeah so it, it oh grounded crashed what? Okay, so the game just broke on me like straight away. That is not good. That is not good, chat. Hmm. If it does it again, we're gonna have to change the game and I will have to just edit out. Grounded main menu logged in as platform. Logging in. A portion of the video. Um logged in as Kylie Kitten Single Options L1 button for preview accessibility five up red. Okay, right. I didn't realise it would read everything out. Continue. Um it does auto save, so let's load back in. That was weird. Yeah, um apparently there are issues today, but I just thought it was with the account linking of Xbox to PS5. I had no issues with Sea of Thieves. Oh, by the way, CJ, I played Sea of Thieves uh, over the the beta weekend and it was phenomenal. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Okay, find and eat some food, explore your surroundings, use the resource analyzer. So sorry about that crash, everyone. And also, um, yeah, I guess we tried that setting and it wasn't exactly what I thought. It like reads everything out. So we're not going to have that on. I will have to read stuff out. Okay, so I do actually have some food already, and that's one of the tasks. I have limits. Or, I guess I thought I did. There we go. I'm just collecting as much as I can. Right, so we came from over there, didn't we? So I should probably... What is that? 
I think it's that same bug making noises at me. <laughs> making me uncomfortable. More fibre. I'm guessing I'll probably be able to make some kind of blade or something out of the fibre. Glad you had a good time on Sea of Thieves. I heard the servers were hit pretty hard. Definitely not normal. I mostly played in safer seas, but on the second day I did go into high seas with Dave. And um Yeah, Dave taught me quite a bit about the game because I didn't manage to get a massive amount done um the first time I went into the game because obviously I was getting used to the mechanics. And I absolutely hate the ghost ships because they will chase you like a bloodhound, seriously, um, on Sea of Thieves. And like, I got sank twice. One time I had so much loot and I lost it all because it spawned me um, quite far from my loot. So I actually lost everything and it was so unfortunate. I was really upset about it, actually. <laughs> I can't believe how much I lost. Um, and by the time I got back to where my boat was, everything was just gone. I managed, I think I salvaged like two things and that's it. There must be someone in charge of this science experiment. But I haven't seen any signs of anyone else. I bet that weird platform thing I came across earlier has something to do with this. I should check it out again. Okay. Analyze a peplet as a resource analyzer. Analyze a plant fiber a resource analyzer. Okay, so right, that is a fiber. Whoa! This is so nerdy. I love it. <laughs> I've got uh, new recipes: crude rope, fiber bandage, and plant slurry. I'm guessing plant slurry is a HP item. I'm going to assume. Spiky sprig, trail marker, roasting spit, sprig fence, and plant fiber. Brain power is increasing. Knowledge! Knowledge is power! <laughs> Give me all the knowledge. A pebblet. Is it not this? This is... Oh, it is. Okay. How do I... Oh, sugar. Can I not put this in my bag? Like, it wants me to analyse it. Oh. Here we go. Alright, there we go. It's in the equipped tab. That's where it was. Yeah, so my multiplayer experience on Sea of Thieves was pretty darn interesting. So, um, there was a moment where me and Dave were trying to figure out where a treasure was, and I got killed by uh, a, a skelly bob with a big explosive barrel, and it sent me back to the ship. And when I respawned at the ship, um, the ship was on fire, and there was a group of other people and uh they said are you friendly while the ship was on fire so clearly they had set it on fire and uh yeah then i shot at them obviously oh well no sorry they shot at me first yeah they shot at me first because yeah yeah right i'm trying to remember yeah sorry no i i respawned first after i got killed by the skelly well um, then I was trying to find the treasure and then they appeared and one of them shot and killed me and then I respawned on the ship and it was on fire. That was it. That was the series of events. And then when I respawned, the ship was on fire and they shot at me and then asked if I was friendly and killed me. And then basically they got mad because there was no loot on our boat and they just kept like camping the boat and killing us over and over. We killed them a few times, but it was just all pointless, really. They were quite young, though. <laughs> so that, that was one of my experiences with... Uh, other players on Sea of Thieves. Anyway, Peblet Spear and Peblet Axe. Okay. 
And I actually got early access because I got the um the special version of the game, so I open the executables radial to access menu shortcuts and toggle between first person and third person camera at any time. <laughs> Oh. Oh, this is interesting. I don't know which I prefer, really. Craft a pebbler axe. So I need two pebblets and uh, a crude rope. I can make a crew of rope. Have I just crafted it? Yes, I have. Oh, so like it's instant. You don't need an actual bench. That's interesting. Keep that nose to yourself. <laughs> What's a thistle needle? A pointy barb from a thistle plant? I really like the menus and everything, like the graphics are, are really nice. Plant sorry, a thick paste of blended plant bits. I don't know what that is, but I kind of want to make it at some point. Okay, so now I need two pebblets. Um, Okay, so I got the axe. Nice. Nice. I am ready. I am ready to slice. Find water and the drink a ant. dew drop. One of a hundred thousand mindless drones. No hopes, no dreams. Bound to the will of the colony. Can I chop this down? You can block attacks while you have a weapon equipped. Time, time it right to perform a perfect block. Oh! Okay, so this doesn't go into your uh, inventory. That's interesting. Oh my god! How do I... Right, shall we try and kill this ant? But first I should probably get some water because I'm gonna die otherwise. Uh chop this down then. That's not so bad. Nice. Oh cutie! I actually need some more water because I'm running out. Oh, sugar! Nice! Hob oh! <laughs> it exploded! It's a multiple pieces! I, it was it was very satisfying though. To be fair, it was very satisfying. Craft a fiber bandage. Okay, so I need sap for this. I feel like the this is about a weapon, really, isn't it? Because the pebbler axe, yeah, low damage. So it looks like the spiky sprig is pretty decent damage wise, and it's got some storm. It's slow on speed. The pebblet spear, though, is very high on speed. Mm, that's actually pretty nice. Right, so sprigs and pebblets I need. So I'm probably going to make that before I do anything else. Let's get better prepared. It is a survival game, after all.
Right, is there any over here? Can I go in? <gasps> this is cool! On the move. What is this? What is it? Oh, oh shh. What's the worst thing that could happen? Looks like something is happening. Well, that was anticlimactic. Looks like the other two lasers are blocked. Nice. Okay, I don't even know. This is the thing they were talking about, actually. I don't know why I'm meant to be going. I'm kind of just exploring at the minute, <laughs> which is fine. But yeah, when I did go into the high seas on Sea of Thieves, God, I earned so much more money. Nice, we got the new weapon. Look at this! Stab! 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 Excellent. Okay, so the fibre bandage uh, is the sap. Where do I get the sap from? I feel like that's going to be from something I chopped down. Something that is more sturdy. Maybe this. I can't. Certain resources require higher tier tools to harvest. Mushroom, mushrooms. Find what's weakening one of the lasers. Let's head to that. Let's head to that one first. Collect things along the way. I'm not seeing much water, you know. Like, I'm trying to look up um, to the blades of grass to see the water droplets, but I'm not seeing any. Oh my god, what is that? Was that a spider? Oh my god! No! Ah! No, I'm not ready for a spider yet. That is horrible. No, thank you. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh shit, there's multiple! I've only got a little weak spear. Surely I'm not meant to fight these yet. That's insane if it's the case. Alright, let's see what else I can actually craft. Fencing, roasting spit, slurry. Does it tell me where I can get the, the sap from? Go to entry. A combustible sticky goo that oozes from roots and fallen branches. Roots and fallen branches, chat. That's what I'm looking for. Discovered Tropicop Punch-O. 
I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's a juice box. Can I go in the juice box? No. <laughs> no, I can't. Roots and fallen branches. This is a fallen branch. Aha! Yeah. So it's kind of like, um, well, it is exactly like small land, actually, because that's where you get sap on small land. Although the sap is like, I'd say, far more in abundance on small land. I'm definitely like already from just playing the start of this late. game. If I don't make some shelter, I bet some horrible insects will come around and eat me or something. Build a lean to. Um, but yeah, like the resources in small land are in far more abundance, is what I'd say. Like, sap is absolutely everywhere in that game. Right, so how do I build this then? Lean to. Uh, super build. Oh, yay. Okay. Use square. Sleep till morning. Set respawn point. Sleep till morning. <laughs> I can't believe that kept me safe. Look at it. I'm gonna recycle it. Because I, I don't, I'm not gonna have my base be here. This is like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Although maybe I should um, place another one down just to have a spawn point. It is telling me to do that in the top left. At least it's clean. Nice. Oh, I didn't think to look down in the little puddles. I was just looking up at the, the reeds for the water. Okay, so you can just get little... Little globlets on the ground. That's interesting. I know I'm stopping on starting a lot, but I'm trying to keep my wits about me because um, I did not expect to see spiders so soon in this game. On small land, I know I keep mentioning it, but I'm sure people are interested to hear comparisons. On small land, um, spiders aren't for a little bit, to be honest. Although it was super atmospheric when I came across the spiders the first time in that game. So good. Literally traveling from a bright, cheery forest and then the music shifts and everything becomes dark and dreary and then it starts getting all misty and creepy and you go into this new forest that's really dense and then you start hearing scuttling noises and you start seeing shadows in the distance. Next thing you know, you're surrounded by spiders. Oh my god, it was so scary. <laughs> but it was awesome though. Can I eat I'm this? Hungry. Yes. Oh, these are handy to have in a pinch, actually. These little mushrooms. They're not... They're not filling my belly loads, but they are doing it a little bit. Hey, no one likes a nosy neighbor. Okay. Right, we're gonna head to the laser and actually do what it's wanting us to do instead of getting sidetracked and distracted endlessly by uh, exploring. <laughs> Okay, so that one is over there. Let's go to that one. I don't want to go to the one that's got spiders. Come on then!
I feel if I try to play this, I'd be very overwhelmed. I kind of get that vibe with all survival games when I first start them, but um, it's all right after a while. Small Land was like that at the beginning until I got used to the mechanics. Okay, so since I am um, by a load of these, I think it's wise for me to just collect some more. Because I bet you they are a good crafting material. Yeah. CJ Kylie, what do juice boxes have? Juice! Maybe I should have tried hitting it. See if I could make a little hole and just like collect the juice the juicy juice juicy juicy sweet and delicious juicy juice oh there is some water there glob lurch i mean this is probably what bottled water is I'm guessing you can make flasks eventually to carry a little, a little sacky of wet. <laughs> a little, a little sacky of wet. <laughs> Whatever that is. Whatever that is. Oh, it's built on a tripod. So that's cool. Mites. Ugh. It's the mites! The mighty mites are doing it. Do I need to stab? Oh my god! One stab and they explode. Oh! They can gang up on me, chat! <laughs> Might fuzz. It's quite violent this game. The amount of blood that comes out. I don't know, it's green blood, but still. I know I'm a good eater, oh but no! Still. I should have made lean to chat. Right, let's uh, just make a, a little bandage. There we go, I needed to heal. My model's hiding it, but I'm less than half HP at the minute, which is not great, is it? Twelve people worked on it. Um, on this game. Played a bit earlier and so much has been streamlined. I believe this version oh, has everything, doesn't it? The PS5 version. <gasps> oh my god! Yeah, you really do feel uh, like you are small in this. Like, the ladybugs in Smallland are smaller than your character. Is it friendly? Can I tell- <gasps> I can go for a ride? <laughs> I don't want to go that way. I kind of want to kill it and see what it gives me. Oh my god! Oh! Oh no! I did not think I'd be scared of Ladybug, but here we are. Oh god, it charges! This was a mistake. Mistakes were made! I'm running away. I'm running away in fear! <laughs> Is it gonna follow me? No. Okay. Right. Good. <laughs> I'm not ready for the ladybug yet. I'm not ready. Right. Anyway, is there anything else? Is this clear? 
unlock the obstructed laser. Uh, is that everything? <gasps> I have to go in the hole. Are you kidding me? Right, I should probably just build that lean-to then. Just to have a respawn of safety. Obstructed, okay. Just put it there. Location obstructed. It's fine. Use set respawn point. There we go. Okay, right, I'm ready. I'm ready, um, I think. Can I make some more healing? I'm ready to go in the hole, Chad. <laughs> this is the final version nice my brother actually oh my god maybe not craft a torch okay where is the torch i need sap and i need dry grass chunk dry grass chunk i'm pretty sure i saw some dry grass chunks already somewhere Well, hopefully I can get crossplay working. It would be really cool to have some of you all join me on this and play together. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. So where do I get the gra uh, dry grass chunk from? It looked like this to me on the floor, but it's not. Okay, so let's just have a look. Crude rope, I need two. One, two, that's made. Dry grass chunk. Brittle fibre harvested from dry grass. Okay. So just cut down some hey, grass that eight, looks... Bid. Oh, no need to be shy. Dead. So this is dry, isn't it? Oh, sorry, I'm punching it instead of chopping it. <laughs> when in doubt, just punch. There we go. Yeah. Nice. I need to have some shrooms as well. I guess I thought I did. Okay, so can I make it now? Also need to remember to analyse uh, some of these new materials that I've just picked up. Okay, I got my torch, right. Oh god, where is it? <laughs> Down here. I didn't travel that far actually, so that worked out well. Right, let's go. Let's get the torch on the go. Just give me a second to let my eyes adjust to that. Oh, this is scary! Oh my god, oh! Can I place it down? Oh, I can still equip my weapon. Oh, really? Those mics are so annoying. I hope this doesn't go out.
keep on now stamina. Hopefully I can upgrade that soon. See, this is one thing small land doesn't have, the ability to go underground. Well, there are underground areas, like little caves and stuff, but you can't go into, like, ant homes or anything in that game. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> These remind me of the little red things on small land as well, but they are far more deadly on that than this. I kind of need to make some healing. Wow! Wow! Anonymous, thank you so much for the love! Who that? What the comments? I always enjoy your content. Thanks for doing what you do. Thank you so much. I don't know who you are, because you are anonymous, but uh, I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Love, love, love. <laughs> Imagine running into a spider down there. Don't. Don't say it. You have said it already. <gasps> oh, it went dark briefly. I did not like that. I did not like it, chat. Where, where are they? I can hear them. This is really creepy down here. I don't... I don't like it. Stab. Just, just stab in the dark. It's a stab in the dark, chat. What is that? Slime mold stalk. Mmm, so tasty. They just look like dangly little moles, don't they, really? <laughs> oh. Okay. I need a new tool, I think. Which I don't have access to by the looks of it. Like a hammer? So maybe I need to go back and analyse some of the materials. Because I can't go deeper, chat, so I can't... I'm assuming the rest of the pipe is through there. But I cannot go. Right. Okay, we'll have to come back to this one. Either that or dynamite. <laughs> I don't think it's going to give me dynamite though, do you? Some of the dungeons in this are terrifying. I bet. Scrabble along, comrade. I need some. I need some more water. More drink, but I also need to go and analyze some stuff. Oh, I should probably put my torch away as well before it dies. That would not be good. Right, so let's go back to the tents and just check out some of the new stuff I got. Oh, what are these? Nothing. <laughs> I got excited over nothing. Just analyze the dangly balls. <laughs> Slime mold sconce and slime mold torch. Maybe that'll last longer than a regular torch then. Peblet hammer, yes! Oh, there's some armor! Clover shin guards, clover hood and clover poncho. Now we're talking, chat. Better equipped for the dangers that lie ahead. Red ant arm guards, red ant knee guards. Yo, I want the ant armor. It's red. Has to happen. I'm analyzing everything. The inner nerd must be fed. <laughs> Plant lamp, workbench, and sap sconce. What's next? Red ant head. Oh, I can't analyse that, apparently. Oh, 
Oh, next charge. Oh, right. Okay. I think I can, but it's run out of juice. So, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Right. So, let's go look at these and let's make the pebblet hammer. So, I need one crude rope. So, I need some more plant fibre. So, let's go and get some plant fibre and then we can make the crude rope. Nice. I do need water though, like quite badly. There's a globlet. How do I get to that? I'll have to chop this down to get to the globlet. That's not so bad. Nice. Matty, hey, how's it going? It's going good. Thank you very much for asking. I hope you are well. Grass plank. Yeah. Oh, it's not from this, is it? That's grass. Oh, hang on a second. I'm getting the wrong material, aren't I? There we go. Plant fibre, so I need the little little things. I'll get used to what things are, don't worry. It's a simple mistake. Okay, so now we can do the hammer. Yes, we got the hammer chart. Let's go. Good thing I'm hungry. Can I just make the... The cooking thing. <gasps> I can make the helmet actually. Can I? Craft and equip triangle. Or do I need a workbench? Hang on a second. <clears throat> yeah, I need a workbench, so I need the... Okay, right, that's fine. I'll make a workbench then so I can make some armour before we head deeper into that um, area. I think that would be wise. I'm just going to make here. Nice. Use workbench. Okay, let's go. Let's go! So let's just have a look. So this is 2.5% uh, resistance, hauling strength is increased, and it's light armor. Tender foot defense. I don't know what that does. I mean, hauling would be useful, and it's still light armor. Usually in games, I go for light armor because I like agility. This game is so cool. It is. It is, mate. <laughs> CJ says if they do make it right, this has the potential for an Ace TV series. I would so watch that. I used to love watching The Borrowers. Does anyone remember The Borrowers? And this is what all these types of games where you're small remind me of. <laughs> Why haven't they made a Borrowers game? I suppose small land and grounded, a, a, you know, the spirit of what the borrowers were anyway. Okay, so I'm going to make Putting on the helmet. Armor. So I need more red ant parts for this. Acid gland. I don't know where I get that from. I could make the chest... Um, 
of this armor though. I'm not too bothered about armors matching right now. I just want to increase my defense. What was that? Uh, a oh my god. That's kind of beautiful. Unload L2, okay. Have you seen any spiders yet? Yes, just small ones. And I did not expect to see spiders so soon, to be honest. So I need uh, three of the ropes for this. Oh, I need way more fibre, chat. <laughs> way more fibre. Okay, so now I can make the chest piece. Nice, that's equipped. And then we've got the legs for the last bit, which I'll probably just go for the clover stuff again, and then I've got at least a full set, even if, like, the helmet doesn't match. So, uh, two more crude ropes. So, more fibre again. Getting kitted out, fam! Getting kitted out! <laughs> Okay. Hopefully that's enough. Right, so how many was it again? Two more ropes. One, two. And nice. Those aphids look like they have things to do and people to see. Brilliant. Right, so now let's have a look at weapons. We can upgrade or get a club actually that's made with some of the red ant parts which actually looks pretty decent damage wise but i think we should be okay going under there for now um although i feel like maybe thistle needle hang on a second where do i get the thistle needle from a pointy bar from a thistle plant which i don't think we've seen any of those yet unfortunately So, probably just stick with our peblet spear, I guess. Right, okay. Right, sleep till morning. I'm not setting this one as my spawn point because I still want the other one that's right by where we're going to at the moment. CJ, there's something a bit more Monster Hunter about the ant armour. Hmm. I would agree with that assessment, actually. Alright, let's go. Which way is it? It's uh, this way, isn't it? Oh, I need water and I need food, actually. Oh, sorry, hang on. I know I'm being super indecisive. I should probably make a cooking hey, station here. No one likes a nosy neighbor. 
So what does that cost me? I need two padlets for that. Because if I can cook some food, surely that will keep me satiated uh, a bit longer. Okay, so add food items suitable for Maillard reaction, which I don't have any. Apparently it won't accept any of the ones I've got. That's unfortunate. At least I've made it though, so that's fine. Right, let's just eat no some shrooms then. But still. Okay, so now I uh, have satiated my hunger a decent amount, but I am literally super thirsty so i'm gonna have to look out for drink again see if there's any droplets nearby Happy to see you having so much fun in this. Thank you. I am really enjoying it a lot. <laughs> am I going to the right one or have I ended up heading towards the wrong one? Also, hey, desperate Anne. for water. What's the news? Desperate for water. Oh, you can drink from any botulism. any puddle on the floor? Okay, that changes everything. Although, oh, oh, I think I've, I'm ill. I'm really sick. I'm, oh, no! <laughs> okay, so yeah, you can't drink from any puddle. I've, I've literally just poisoned myself, chat, and uh, I had a warning on the screen. <laughs> This is not the way, by the way. I have gone to the wrong one, I think. This is a different one. Super thirsty. Super thirsty. Give me some shrooms, please. There's a spider. Okay, I see the water now. Oh my god. Am I am I hidden? The juice box was my saviour. In more ways than one. It gave me the drink and it also protected me from the spider's sight. Oh my god. So yeah, that was my first experience with a big spider on this game and <laughs> I didn't like it. 
I did not like it one bit. <laughs> so yeah, that was the wrong laser that we followed, by the way. Games with cute graphics aren't scary. They can be. Oh, what was that game that I found scary? Gregory's Horror Show. Which I actually found out was based off Peter I didn't know you could pee. Place a waypoint, remove waypoint. Okay. But yeah, Gregory's Horror Show, like you go to a hotel, I think you're dead in it or something. And I can't remember the full story because this is years ago. This is a PS2 game. And basically you have to watch the other residents of the hotel and get certain items to like figure stuff out and progress and collect Seems souls. Like something's digging around underneath but us. It's scary because some of the characters will attack you, will outright attack you, and uh, you get these cutscenes. Like, there was this one that was like a pink lizard nurse, and she would stab you with a giant syringe. And it was always horrible when she would um, chase you in the game. I'm going to have to place a waypoint to the one that I need to go to because I keep getting spun around in this game already. I think I've managed... Oh, is this the right one? No, it's not. I've come to the wrong one again. Stay calm. Stay calm now. Don't panic. That's how mistakes are made. So, is it this one over here then? Right, let's just heal myself after that spider incident. <laughs> And make sure I'm getting enough of the fiber just to stock up on my bandages a little bit. And then we can finally go into the hole, chat. Just make sure I'm going the right way. I need more stamina. So badly. Those aphids look like they have things to do and people to see. constantly running out of stamina because I keep leaving uh, run toggled on. Okay, so I'm alright, mostly. Don't forget my bed is there, so that's fine. Right, let's make some healing. Oh, oh damn, I've got no sap again. Is there any sap up here? Oh my god, there's loads of them. Right, 
Right. Screw it. We're going in the hole. If I die, I die. What do we have lurking around out here? Hopefully they've not respawned in here. Nope, we're good. We're good. Excellent. Okay, right. Now, hammer. I'll be back. Just got some stuff to sort out. No worries. No worries. Beeping also tells you the weakness of enemies. Oh, nice. How do I do the peep thing again? Triangle. I'm assuming eventually you can get some type of like binocular things that give you more distance to peep. Jeepers, creepers, I'm gonna be a peeper. <laughs> Do I need the torch now? Uh, no. I haven't become full yet. It seems quite generous with your uh, inventory. <gasps> Additional flavor scheme available. Additional flavor scheme available. Schemes allow you to change your interface to new visual flavors. You can choose unique ones to use for both daytime and nighttime in the OS tab. Oh. Oh, what's that? There's something in the ground. What is it? What's this? Sturdy marble? Can I smack? I need a better hammer. <laughs> Can I smack? <laughs> Most important questions need to be asked, really. Right, okay. Is that it? I'm, I'm clearly missing something. <sighs> Sturdy quartzite as well. Oh, I'm hungry. Good thing I'm hungry. Uh... Have I cleared this one then? Is that cl cluster's cleared now? Because I don't see anything else. Let's just follow the tube. It goes under there. But it hasn't come oh. out into here, has it? <sighs> or at least I don't see it. I'd love to know what's digging in here, what this little thing is. I think I've cleared it, surely, this one. I don't know. There's nothing else in there. I need a better hammer. I need the next level of hammer, which I'm not too sure how to get. Right, let's recycle this. Oh my god! There's a bird. Let's see what we can find. Oh no, it's not gonna tap me, is it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's huge! It's so large! I don't think it is gonna attack me. That would be utter BS if it did. God, I need some sap. I've ran out again, so. Oh, I can hear them. I can hear them coming at me. The little. 
noise. <laughs> accurate. So goddamn accurate. There's a feather. Can I get the feather? Ugh, gross. Stay away. Tail feather, okay. Wow, there's loads of different um, materials in this game. Like, some things aren't in small land, which is cool. Okay, so I think this one is done, but I'm not, I'm not actually sure, to be honest. I'm gonna try and head back to the central area and see about the other ones, but this bird is here. I was going to just place a little bed, but... Hello, powerless ant. I need the materials. Ah! Forgot to charge my laptop and it died. Did I miss anything? So there's a large bird hanging out up there. I don't know if it's going to attack me when I get close, but I have to go that way. So I am just going to quickly throw down a lean to real quick. I can't build that there. Let's build it. Uh, I think here is a bit more flat. Okay. Right, that is set. chop that one down apparently I think like if I'm gonna try and take on the spider I definitely need better armor anyway but I don't know as I'm ready for that you saw it like hit me and took off almost all my health Now, is this the one with the spider? In the original version, ladybirds used to growl and bark like a dog. It was terrifying. What? <laughs> that sounds wild. Why is so water so difficult to find in this game? I'm hoping at some point you can like build some kind of filtration system so you can just gather dirty water and then oh. clean it. I'm not gonna slurp nasty water, that's stupid. Huh. 
So this one's clear, right? How do I crouch? Oh my god! I thought all the beams were like walk into a spider web. already on originally, and now only two are on. I'm so confused about what the fuck I'm meant to be doing. Unblock the obstructed laser, but like, why did one laser turn off then? If I cleared it. Okay, I got away, but my god, I need healing so bad. And just out of curiosity, I looked up grounded base building on YouTube and I saw this one called Oak Tree Base. And my god, that must have taken ages to build. You can, if you invest the time, you can build some amazing things in these types of games. I've got a pretty nice base going on small land, actually. Oh, there's some water. Probably what bottled water is. <sighs> Alright, I am back at base now. I don't know what time it is in the game. Okay, Analyze is back, so we're probably going to be able to unlock some new things again. Is that a bow? <gasps> Did I just unlock a bow? Bow for days! Stuffed aphid, aphid slippers. Aphid mount. Which is not a rideable mount, it's a head mount for decoration purposes. Arrows, mite hats, stuffed mites. <gasps> you can make a stuffed teddy mite. Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. The depth of field in this is so daunting. I altered it um, a bit in settings, if I remember rightly. I wanted to be able to see. I actually did the same in Smallland. I didn't like things to be super blurry from a distance because it is easier to spot materials. Honestly, I'm finding it difficult enough to find the water because you imagine if I left the depth field on. <laughs> Another game where Kylie's going to be a bow main. Can I though? Can I make it? Sprig bow. I need nap fuzz and crude rope. So I don't have any nap fuzz yet. Acorn shovel. Alright, so we got some new stuff, but I don't have all the materials that I need just yet. So I need acorn shell for the acorn shovel, which makes sense. And I need some nap fuzz for the uh, bow. There's some more armors that i can make grub hide oh i think i know what that's from because there was like a beetle type thing running around before but i didn't tackle it can you not compare what you're currently wearing i'm wearing the ants Helmet, which is uh, 2.5 resistance. So the resistance is the same. Right, I've, I've switched. Safe. I've switched to the clover hood now, so that the armor matches. The quickness. Oh, the aphid slippers include uh, increases my speed, which is pretty nice. 
raw aphid meat. Okay, so they're the tiny bugs then running around. <gasps> Canteen! Oh my god, a pouch made from grub hive that can be used to carry two scoops of liquid to transfer to storage or to slur. Right, so I need to find some grubs then and kill some grubs basically. Fuzz on the rocks. Makes you healthier for a while. Heals and increases max health. Okay. Transmits a trackable visual signal so you can find your way back to this location. Um, I feel like this would be a good thing to put here, to be honest. So I don't get lost. I'm just going to put the house thing there. Okay, that's going to be helpful. So we've already got some um, items for the base if we wanted to, but this is not where I'm going to put my base, so I'm not going to make these just yet. But we've got a chair. And we've got some cool lights as well, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> um, and a plant lamp. Stuffed aphid and also the... Oh, I thought when it said stuffed, for some reason I just thought it was going to be like a plushie, but it is actually literally just the bug taxidermied. <laughs> That's kind of creepy though, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> Grubs are the bugs moving in the dirt. Oh, I don't know how to um, get them then because it wouldn't come out of the ground for me. Oh, why is everything... Oh, is this because it's night time? It's turned to green. That's cool. I don't have a storage box yet either, which would be handy. Oh, you need the shovel. Okay. So I need the acorn. So I guess go look for an acorn somewhere. I desperately need food today and I also need water. Hey, Ant. What's the news? Okay, so hopefully the little mushrooms have respawned. No, they have not. <sighs> huh? <sighs> but I should be able to just chop down. Oh no! Okay, I can't chop it down. Never mind. Can I eat I know this? I'm a eater, but still. No. I tried to eat it, but didn't like. <clears throat> they are by an oak tree. Makes sense. I don't know where that is, though. Literally just started the game today. Do I have a map? I don't think I do. This is not helpful. <laughs> Literally can't see anything. 
through this grass, so I can't see where this tree is. That's the tree. So this way. That was cool how it was like out of focus and then came into focus. I better not run into a spider. Oh my god, mushrooms. There's also uh, some hey, no water. A nosy neighbor. At least it's clean. Ish. It's fully clean. What are you talking about? Okay, so towards the tree, but we can pick up some mushrooms as we go as well. Because I am hungry. Oh, the spider's here! Are you kidding me? I can't do anything because of this spider. <laughs> can I kill this? Weevil. Raw weevil meat, which I'll have to cook, I'm guessing, before I eat it, because that's probably going to mess me up if I eat it raw. That's what she said. <laughs> It'll mess me up. How am I supposed to get past this spider though? I can't get to the tree because there's a spider. I'm gonna have to go uh, the long way round and hope for the best. Oh, okay. I can't go that way because whatever this is. Wood. Blocking my way. Oh! Can I break it? Attack the web. It's not going to alert it to my presence, is it? This isn't a uh, hobbit situation, is it? Where... Oh, shit! Go any faster. <laughs> Is it still chasing me? I can't tell. Okay, I think it's gone. I will take some of these mushrooms though, because I do need the food. You had multiple spiders. Yes, I uh, I had like two. I don't think it's more than two. Correct me if I'm wrong. They will be alerted. Yep, found that out <laughs> the hard way. <laughs> Literally called it. I was like, is this a hobbit situation? <laughs> Don't touch the webs, you will alert the spiders. Ooh, new material. If I can get it, that is. Oh, shit. Oh no, it's not new. It's not new, it just gives me the leaves. So... Man, is there like Right, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go towards the tree from this side this time. Maybe I can avoid the spiders and find this acorn that I need. I'm hoping, because I need that shovel. Oh 
Oh my god, bees. Not seeing I'm not seeing any acorns right now. Oh! I think I see one, I think. Yes, I do. Sorry, I saw one really far away, but actually there's one right here. Yes! Smash! I snuck by. I snuck by the spiders and I got the acorns! I'm so proud! Yay! I was successful. I had to flee for my life many times, but... I got what I needed. I'm gonna get as much as I can here, to be honest. While I'm here. Makes sense, chat. I have limits. Or, I guess I thought I did. Gotta get the canteen. Yes. Canteen. Exactly. Because, like, the water is so... Hard to come by and it would be nice to have a couple of slurps available. <laughs> Ew! Sap clump. That's cool. That's really cool. A sap clump. Small land doesn't have sap clumps. It only has like sap little little balls. <laughs> Is it there? There's a, there's only sap little balls. <laughs> Just don't go into the hollow underneath the tree. See, now that you've said that, uh, I kind of I kind of want to do it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But I won't because I'll die. Don't tempt me as your blood. I need like to kill him. To do and people to see. Oh my god, how do you catch that? That is so fast. You'd have to use the bow and arrow, wouldn't you? I bet you it's like one shot and they're dead. And it's bow and arrow time, baby! Bow and arrow time, baby! What's this? Well, I can have that at least. Can I chop this or not? No. Oh! <gasps> That's cool. What is that? See what we can find. Anyway, I got sidetracked. I need to um get more of these acorns. Maybe I can make acorn armor. Although I bet you that would be heavy armor though. Oh! Got him! <laughs> nice! Nice, nice, nice! Yeah! Ah, oh, yeah! You could take a peek, but you won't like what you're saying. Probably a larger spider. I know of some enemies in this game because I did follow um, the Twitter account and obviously saw people tweeting about the game 
a lot when it first released. Um, so I know some enemies. How do I crouch again? Oh. Oh, oh, oh no! How do I crouch? Square? Triangle? Oh. What is this? Milk molar? It's a tooth? Requires a higher tier tool. Um. Place waypoint. Okay, I got my, <laughs> I got my spear back. So the bath is currently being run, so I'm just going to quickly BRB chat so I can just um, refill my drink and nip the loo. So BRB real quick. Are the PS community excited about this? I believe so. Yeah, from what I can tell, people are excited about this coming out. If they aren't, they bloody well should be. Welcome back, Lord Rayla. Did we all hear the news about Keanu Reeves voicing Shadow? Shadow the Hedgehog, because uh, that is pretty awesome, I think. Let me just have a bit of drink. I'm really thirsty. I need to get a, a drink, a drink hotkey. When you just see my mouth open and no sound come out, no, no commentary, that's when I'm drinking. <laughs> I need to head back, but I, I do, uh, how, how much have I got on me? I don't know how much I've got on me. Hopefully it's a decent amount. I did bust open quite a lot of acorns to be fair, so... Right, I'm gonna head on the move. home. I'm gonna head home and we're gonna do some crafting. What I need to do. I feel like I've not done that much on today's episode. <laughs> I'm learning the ropes and I'm exploring. Okay, 
Okay, so on the way home, we need to be looking out for water, if possible. This will be dirty water, won't it? Nasty water, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if there's any running water areas that I can uh, drink from that's clean water. Having home marked on the map is so nice. You taught me a lot, taught me stuff, and are doing well. Oh, really? I've taught you stuff? How? <laughs> I just, I feel like I've just been fumbling around not knowing what I'm doing on this game. How is that possible? <laughs> I don't understand, but I'm glad. I'm glad I can help. Oh, I can't smash the snail shell. That would have been a good material to use for something. Sturdy, reliable. A home in a shell. I could live in it. It could be my home. Very dense. Very dense in here. DJ, a lot has changed since I played it. Lots of quality of life stuff, like markers I didn't know about. Oh, nice. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Okie dokie, Dean. Use the workbench. Tools. Acorn shovel. We need crude rope, too. Nice. Play. Not even seen that yet. How do they think it said you're running out of storage space? Uh, I don't think I can make storage though. Not yet. Maybe if I analyse some stuff. Stem palette and plank palette. Maybe that's storage? There's also sadly no other freshwater uh, sources other than dewdrops. Really? Wow. I thought you'd be able to make some kind of filtration uh, system. Water container! I just unlocked a water container though, chat. Gas mask. Oh, that's going to be useful for areas that have like toxic fumes. That's cool. And that's all I can uh, do today. So let's just have a look. 39 out of 40 slots. Um, and I can't make storage right now. Water container. This hollowed out acorn can store up to six drops of liquid. Oh, storage chest. Hang on. I do have um, a chest. Oops. Messed up then for a sec. Okay, let's have a look. Hot deposit. So that'll be like storing stuff that you've already got. Um, 
So essentials wise, I just want to make sure I don't put away what I need. So I need to be keeping fibers and sap on me. And clover leaf and sprig. Oh, deposit stack, never mind. So anything with an exclamation mark on it needs to be analysed, so that's useful. So I can take things out as and when to analyse them. So that's nice that they are marked like that and you don't have to specifically remember. Does um does crafting pull from storage in this game? How do I sort? Sort chest. There we go. Nice. Hang on, so what did I need to craft a torch again? I just want to... Rope. Right, okay, so I could do with uh, keeping... Some rope on me, that's fine. Don't put food in there, otherwise the ants will destroy it. Oh, okay. Is this food? Anything with a timer is food, I'm guessing. So is there something I can make that the ants won't destroy to steal my food? Just have a look. Plank pallet, a platform on which grass planks can be neatly stacked. Oh, okay. Uh, stem pallet, a platform on which weed stems can be neatly stacked. Grinder, break various things down into different things. Okay. I made the water container, but honestly, um, I'm probably not going to use it for a while. Shit. I keep doing that. I keep cancelling things. Oops. <laughs> Where's it gone? Nice. Does it catch rainwater? I don't even know if it rains in this game. It'd be nice if it caught rainwater, honestly. Uh, hang on a second. Yes, it does, but it has to be near the chest. Oh, uh, how do I know if it's working? Twelve available clover leaf. Okay, yeah, it's working because I've got ten on me and two in the box, and it's had twelve available, so it is working. Nice. That's all right then. So as long as I put my chests over here, they should be okay. Okay, Kinky, is it night time? I can't tell what time it is. I've got no water though. I need a drink very badly again. Stop. 
story of my life on this game is just being thirsty. <laughs> I'm John Wick in the desert. Always needing a drink. That's not so bad. There is a couple yeah. of globlets over here. Yeah. Uh, oh, I chopped down the wrong one. <laughs> oh my god, it's this one. <gasps> Was that the crow? That sounded like the crow came down. I'm going back to bed. Sleep till morning. Oh my god. <laughs> the crow was coming! Building a base in a place ants can't get in is an easy solution for ants and everything else, really. Yeah, I just need to find somewhere. Like, I've only just started today, so... Right, so now we need to... Those aphids look like they have things to do and Get the grubs. Get the grubs. For the water sack. Sturdy shell. An incredibly solid piece of acorn that increases your defense capabilities. Friendly fire defense sort major threat. I don't know what that is. Major threat. Does that make you draw aggro more easily or something? Damn, the acorn armor is where it's at. It is heavy though, so it's going to make me really slow. God, the defense difference is insane. Wow. Yeah, so two rapes and uh, three crude hides. Alright, so we've got the two rapes on us, so I need the crude hides. Um, And food again. Oh, hang on a second. Cook. Uh, oh, it is cooking. How long does it take to cook? That's cool. I think it's done. Okay, okay. Interesting. So... Aphid roast? <laughs> Delicious. Mm. I eat this normally. So tasty. I mean, it filled me up, but I don't think I liked it that much. Weevil roast. Once they're cooked, do they deplete in your um? In your inventory. I think they do, don't they? I 
I don't know if there's some kind of storage you can eventually make that stops uh, food perishing. Okay, right, quest for water again. There's, there's a, a little droplet here. At least it's clean. Okay, so we've got a bit of water. Um, we're just going to look for one of the little grubs digging in the ground. I don't know where they're usually located because we've only came across a couple of them, to be honest. Scrabble along, comrade. Cook food will spoil. Yeah, it makes sense. I thought so. I thought that was the case, to be honest. Uh, see, it doesn't spoil in uh, small land. You cook it and it just lasts forever. <laughs> it's Which is a nice quality of life. Or oh, maybe I turned on a setting. I can't remember. Caram caram caramelized ant heads is what I particularly ate on small lands. Like that's like the only thing I would uh, cook because it was decent, easy to make, and filled you up for quite a good amount of time. Chopping the wrong one. Is that oh my god, which one? Oh it's this one. Third one is the charm. Right, once I've had this, I'm I'm full with water for a bit at least. And then I can focus on the task at hand, which is finding the little grubby thing. The little grubber, the little grubby one. A little grub lad. I won't say no to these mushrooms though, they're always good for food. For a quick nibble. For a, for a little nom nom. Maybe in the hole. Although I'm a bit scared about... Actually this is where we started isn't it in here? Yeah it is. You have to make it into jerky for it not to spoil. So dry the meat. It makes sense. It makes sense, chat. Um, I haven't analysed the grass plank yet. I, I'm not really paying attention to the things in the top to left. Maybe I should. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should. Let's take one of these over and analyse it. Or we'll place it near to analyse. See you next stream. Take it easy. Cheers, my dears. Have a good rest of your day. Ah, there we go. Materials for the base. <laughs> I feel like me ignoring the current goals was stressing people out. This is what I do though. I like to explore when I first go on to a new game before like focusing on uh, certain things. That's just how I roll. Storage basket. Clover table and also uh, plant fibre as well. Nice. Already known. I've literally unlocked everything I already know. <laughs> so I've unlocked nothing then, is what you're telling me. Spoiled meat? I can analyse the spoiled meat. I might analyse the, the bandage because it could give me better healing. And that's all I can do today. Right. 
I don't know if this is a good base area, though. I mean, there's so much in the way, isn't there? Really. I'm probably not going to do that today. I might start building a base tomorrow. Where's my shovel gone? Uh, chat, where's my shovel gone? Mm. Apparently it's in here, but it's not on the wheel. Like, it's in my inventory, but it's gone from the wheel. Like, I can't equip it. Uh, is there a way to do it from here, or...? Why is it gone from my wheel? I didn't tell it to do that. Equip. I need to make sure it's on my wheel. Right, there we go. Okay, fixed it. Build on the baseball, that's not a bad idea actually. I'd have to build the uh, steps up though, wouldn't I? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's just go uh, look at it. Because you can actually go up to it from here as well. How much surface space does it give? Yeah, that's that's not bad because then you can build out either side. Good idea. Good call. Good call. If you spot one of the little grubbers um, under the ground, just let me know because that's what I'm looking for and I can't see them. I just realised it's obstructed by this. Done. Dramatic. That was more dramatic than I expected. 
<laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I said. Investigate that oak tree Hello, explosion. Not yet. Actually, you could build off this as well. Like, it's... No, it's off the ground. Well, the ants could probably climb up this leaf, though, couldn't they, to be honest? Right, the oak tree is over there. Uh, there's also spiders over there, but I do remember as well that there is uh, the little the little ones we need, the digging ones, so I think that way is a good direction to go anyway for the materials that we need. Is there any free juice? Won't say no to some ground juice. <laughs> Listen, in a survival game you've got to take every drop you can get off the ground. Slurp it up. Get on your hands and knees and slurp it up. Oh! Found one! So do I just dig? Nice! That was actually easier than I expected it to be. Right, there was another one digging somewhere. I swear I saw it. If it on the move. It has gone. I'd like to think that it fled in absolute terror. There's a spider over there. I just saw it. <laughs> Right, I'm guessing I need the workbench to craft the water sack. I don't think it's going to let me craft it from here, but we'll see. Where was it located again? Grub hide. Bush warm skin harvested from a common grub. Grub hide. Times two. Yeah, so I need another one. On the lookout for another grub. Can't wait to get my grubby hands on it. There's some more water there. I'm not going to say no to water. Uh, which one's it on? It is on this one, I think. I heard it drop, but I didn't see where it went. went into the the walk like the main puddle and I lost it are you kidding well that was a troll putting the water right above that don't believe it that's bullshit <laughs> I mean this is probably what bottled water is can you tell I'm a little bit mad I feel like the grubs are not going to be around this bit because they seem to be more around flat areas of land, which makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's 
a ladybird. I was going to say something large is moving through there. <laughs> what is it? It's a ladybird. It's all right. Where are the grubs, chat? The yard <gasps> is a gross creature. Little wonders never see. To be clear, I wouldn't mind if they did. Nice. Killed it. Oh my god. Lava spike? Nice. Damn. I actually didn't do that much damage to me, to be fair. I just panicked a bit. I'm getting closer and closer to the oak tree. I know I got spun round a little bit, but I was trying to find the grubs. Uh, it looks like there aren't any more in this area, though. From what I can see, I'm not seeing any movement on the ground. Let's just head over and investigate then for now. Oh, I see one. Spotted. Spotted. Come here. Need my stamina back. Nice. There we go. Right, where was it again? Canteen. Got it. Excellent. Happy with that. <laughs> to be honest, you don't move particularly fast anyway, so I'm kind of thinking I might try and make that acorn armor just because it's... Um, it's a lot more sturdy and it's going to give me that defense. Finally got the extra storage for the water though. That's lovely. Delightful. Splendiferous. Phenomenal. Very happy with that. Okay, investigate the oak tree. So where do I have to go for this? To the beam of light, I'm guessing. Although I'm not sure. I could be wrong. It's not really light. It's more like um, gas. It makes me feel like it perhaps is poisonous gas. The shoes help you run quicker. The yes, thank you. Um... I've been pretty relaxed on backseat gaming today, but just remember that I don't usually like backseat gaming. If I want help, I will ask. Um, I know people think it's helpful, but I do want to discover the game myself and learn myself. So if I want help, I'll ask. Ah! 
I'm guessing this is what I need to investigate, but I don't know. I'm a bit scared. I'm a little bit, a little bit scared. I might make a temporary bed, honestly, just in case I die. Um, lean to. Let me just put it up here. Oh, I can't. I can't. Let's just put it here then. It was blue, briefly. It keeps, like, it's blue and then it changes to red and says it's uh, obstructed. Make up your mind! Right, let me just... Right, there's nothing here. This is not obstructed. This is fine. Okay, use. Set respawn point. There we go. Right, lovely. Keep that nose to yourself. Hello, Lord. Hello, how are you doing? Welcome in. I hope you're doing good today. How's it running? It's running well. Uh, I can't connect my Xbox account though at the minute. It's a known issue apparently, so I think we're going to work on fixing it. So I can't play with Xbox users at the moment, but uh, yeah, I'm doing solo right now anyway, which I'm enjoying. But I would like to have some multiplayer shenanigans. Some good old shenaniganage. <laughs> Which is now a word. Ignore what the dictionary does or does not say. Mushrooms there as well. Mushrooms. This is it, isn't it? This is what I'm here for. Someone else? Th this looks like a crashed landing, but... A little podlet. Explore the lab. Let's go. What is in here? Oh, I do not like the music. A boss, maybe? Right, let me just craft some healing. Healing! Right, so that's given us quite a good amount. Whoa, wasn't this expecting this. Yeah, it is a nerd's paradise. <laughs> That's true. This just this is like a lava lamp. <laughs> Let's analyze some stuff. Free analyze, yes, please. Sap catcher. Oh, <gasps> smoothie station. Spinning wheel. Acorn fence. Garden patch. And soothing syrup. You can farm in this game. You can make your own little farming area with a garden patch. No one told me this. No one told me this. Grub vest. You can turn grounded into a farming game. <laughs> Mushroom slurry. Is this how it happened? Contain cool raw science. There's some equations. There's loop. There's loop de loops. 
Covalent space reduction. But not just space. Can it be cooked? It's all nerd mumbo jumbo to me. Unpowered. Okay, so I can't use that. Ook lab. The laboratory. Oh, I can have a load of sap. Yes, please. I'll be taking all the sap. I am such a sap for sap. <laughs> Ooh, the music is making this place super atmospheric. <gasps> Water cooler! Has that filled my sack as well? I actually can't see where my sack is. I'm assuming it's just like giving me more that I can store, I'm guessing. Hostile presence detected. Is that me or is that something in here with me? Uh, uh, should I, should I be worried? Should I be worried, chat? Unauthorised access, so I can't go in there yet. Ooh, help Burge stand. <gasps> Robo friends! Take a deep breath. Oh my god, he's got a moustache. Amazing. We will have moustaches together. I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. <laughs> His mustache is rainbow as well. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. Is it the same voice actor as uh, Claptrap? Clap, Claptrap. That's it. Clap, Claptrap, I said. <laughs> Claptrap from uh, Borderlands. Or is it just made to sound the same? A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. Yeah, most of it's intact. It's not too bad. The water is infinite, that's nice. Can I not build my base inside this base? Can it not be a base within a base? And what's worse, <laughs> the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Corrupted. <laughs> I love his voice already. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Where am I? You are here, in the Oak Lab. Built and used by Dr. Wendell Tatelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Can we recruit you? Can you can you work at my base? Although now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. Oh snap. Where is he? <laughs> What's happened to him? And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my corrupted memory banks. C corrupted. It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Oh, that's one of my favourite words, discombobulated. Given my best calculations, 
Your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. Uh, CJ says, uh, Burge is one of the people from the TV show Silicon Valley. I don't think I've ever seen that. Maybe, maybe um, I'm recognizing it from something else then. It sounds very similar to Claptrap from Borderlands, but I don't think it is uh, identical. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. I must be slouching, my neck hurts. <laughs> Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Convenient. Hopefully your memory will return in time. Very convenient. To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. That's fine. Happy to stay small. <laughs> That is a great idea. Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Processing! Proce processing! <laughs> Compute! Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Memory fault. Code 408B3000. Ominent OS script runtime error. Arg. I am sorry again. <laughs> I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Arg. That's his uh, sound of annoyance chat. Arg. It's turned pirate. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Sorry if there was a, a bit of noise then. I was just rotating my drinks around. Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Pretty sure I smack the microphone as I usually do. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Wow, we definitely need to be finding them then. Yes, please. I would like to survive. <laughs> I don't want to die. I don't want to die. <laughs> No! <laughs> Super chips are special, and they are gold! They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. Super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Scabby. I've, I've been saying scab, not scabby. <laughs> Processing. Processing. Error. Another error. Found. Code 632 C404. Cheese and fries. The lab locations are missing from my memory banks too! Oh, he's so lovable! CJ says action figures and bilge plushy needed 100% like if like a look how chunky he is he would be a perfect plushy to be honest. But we are in luck! I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. Oh no! No! <laughs> that means I have to fight the spiders pretty soon. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge, sending the coordinates to your scabby. Try to find the hedge lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> <laughs> Only thousands? That reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. 
Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL Network of Computers 2. Nice. Okay. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. Raw science? We won't say no to more raw science. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those chips and try not to die out there. See, this is um, unexpected to me because I, d I didn't think there was going to be uh, this amount of VA in this game because like small end doesn't have VA at all actually which is a shame to be honest I mean you know it's it's like 25 pounds the game to be fair I've, I've enjoyed it for what it is um you know I've basically almost finished the game now I just need to do the last boss and collect the the blue tip mount really and uh finish building my base and what have you but um yeah it's nice to have VA and also a quest system for more stuff. <laughs> have an exponentially great day! Oh, so polite. <laughs> I will protect him with my life. I will. I will protect. I feel like Hello I haven't there. finished talking to him. Science manager Burgle at your service. How can I help you today? Ask away, my friend. Tell me about yourself. A question about me? I'm flattered. Oh, he genuinely sounded so happy that I'm asking about him. I am the last existing burger lad, Mark IV, created by D -D Dr. Tully. Since his disappearance, I have been continuing his research and experiments. I am a f f fully functional research assistant. I can answer science questions as well as assign tasks for you to complete. Every day, I will have a number of t tasks for you, my budding science assistant, to complete. Finish them, and I will reward you for your hard work. Just do not mention anything to OSHA. The last thing I need is another investigation into underage labor <laughs> Dr. Tully, while he was working on designs for an automated burger restaurant to be licensed to Roby's B -B Burgers. There were 14 other Burgle prototypes created, but alas, I am the only one who remains. The others were all... scrapped. Oh no, he's the last one. Cooking, flipping, grilling. I have been adapting my functionality with the assistance of Dr. Tully. I am also trained in organization, data science, and mustache grooming. <laughs> the most important one, mustache grooming, obviously. <laughs> Consuming raw or undercooked meats may increase your risk of foodborne illness, especially if you have certain medical conditions. Found that out the hard way. <laughs> when I ate the uh, the bug giblet earlier, raw. Medium rare. Medium if you must. But if you request well done, I will show you the truth behind my grilling function. How can I help you today? Ask away, my friend. What is Ominent? Ominent Practical Technologies is one of the largest research and manufacturing companies in the world. Its main research facility is right here in the town of Brook Hollow. Dr. Tully, and by extension, yours truly, was an employee of Ominent for a long time, until very recently. Ask away, my friend. How can I help you today? Fare thee well, brave adventurer! Nice. Okay, so uh, use the biometric scanner at the ASL terminal. Okay. Let's just have a little look around to see what else is in here. Taking a look around. What's that say? No. No wets under patty. No ketchup. Something mustard. Burgle never gets yelled at. 
Wendell considers Burgle a friend. Never activate kill mode! <laughs> Why? Does he actually have a kill mode? I kind of want to see it now. Burgle can tell an, an assistant... Uh, hang on. Burgle can tell on assistant manager. And then like all the ingredients of the burger and stuff. Cool. Cool, cool, cool! Science! <gasps> Look at this picture! Aww! They're feeding a mouse! A, is it a mouse or is it a hamster? I think it might be a hamster actually because I don't see the tail. It's got a little stub. So cute! So is this um, the doctor when he was younger and sister? Oh, imagine, imagine if the hamster has been shrunk and we can get it as a mount. I don't even know if mounts exist in this game. I'm hoping mounts exist. I love the mounts in small lands, but the AI is so awful for the mounts. Like, they will just... You will tell them to wait and they, like, if you get into a fight near them, they'll just start fighting and they will just continue fighting anything nearby and then they can just die so easily. I lost so many mounts in that game. I'm at a point though now where I've gotten to a special end game area where the enemies are high level and I was able to tame a really high level horde it. So um, it can take quite, it, like, it's got a lot of health now, so it's very hard for it to be killed. Um, but I don't use it for fighting at all. When I get the blue tit, I will though, because the blue tit has insane attack and also insane uh, health. And the blue tit is the best mount, obviously, because it's got like a load of stamina. <laughs> but it's very costly, so yeah, it's going to take me a long time to get. Raw science! Science shop and a burgle class. What are the class? Craft the shovel, we've already done it. Hold on a second. So like what some of the stuff I've already done. Has contributed. So high is completed. So there's a lot that are like question marked out then. Oh, here we go. Um kill kill some grubs. Kill five gnats and also raise the banner of Burgle at the oak tree beacon. Smithing station. Oh, I've got 2,340 of the science points, so I can actually get some of these things. Multi story bases. Yeah, some of this stuff is really expensive. So, cooking 101 means I can combine ingredients. Okay. And then the smithing station, workstation used to upgrade weapons using various materials. That might be nice actually. Get that. Sign set signal. Uh, sorry, sign set April. Oh right, okay, so oh, that's interesting. Meat shield? <laughs> okay. Torch upgrade. A torch that's been improved by the power of science will light your way for a very long time. Fortified bases, multi story bases, um, Pablet Foundation. 
Well, since we might be base building on the next episode, maybe I will go for the uh, the base upgrades. And then let's get the cooking. Yeah, so kill kill gnats, kill grubs, and raise the banner, and then we get those as well. Nice. So a load of these are just gonna check off now, which is pretty awesome. Can I build stuff in here though? Like, oh, look, they come in little food packaging as well. That's really cool. Ah, oh, you can't, you can't put it in here. That's unfortunate. I was gonna say, like, why would you just not build your base in here? But you can't. It doesn't let you. That makes sense. That would be cheating, wouldn't it, if it did? Whoa! Science! This morning I installed the borrowed lab modules. Another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. The Kinder Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab Educational Toy for Children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The law. <laughs> no, we can't. Me. <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. Odd that Arminant has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. I digress. The lab network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Main power will run through here. The Oak Lab is the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Side note, I'm worried that Ominent's shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause them to fall apart over time, but they will do for now. We found another tooth, by the way. I don't know if you saw it in the dark there. Raise the banner. Where is the banner? Lost my way out of here. All right. Okay. So uh, manager key card, which we don't have. Oh, here we go. This is the way out, isn't it? I think. Raise the banner. Uh, what banner though? I am missing something.
I don't think we've seen any gnats yet. Oh, inventory is full. Okay. I could do with, like, popping back then and just dropping some things off, to be honest. Where is the banner? Where is the banner? Is that a button inside that I missed or something? Oh! Keeping makes me feel a little creepy. No! <laughs> oh my god, that is way bigger than the other ones we've seen today. I've just realised the time as well, so I think I should probably head back to our base and just drop some things off. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's not just one. There's like... There's two. Is that where they live? That scared the shit out of me. I told you you wouldn't like it. No, I don't. <laughs> They're horrible. It's like in Small Land, it doesn't matter how many spiders I've killed in that game, they still make me feel very uncomfortable fighting them. Even though they're easy for me now, I still feel uncomfortable every time. You get all sorts of different types in that game. Black Widows. Tarantulas. There's a freaking giant, horrible white spider that's a boss. So much for going vegan. Oh shit, I just ate the 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 grubby meat. Oops. Oopsie daisy. I need to go and put some things away really. I am very full. I need to store some stuff. So it means I've got double scan options though because like I can scan here but I can also scan at the lab. Oh, I should have put a marker down. Although it's it is kind of marked with the um the purple mist anyway, isn't it? So that's not a major problem. I'll probably drop a marker tomorrow. So no doubt we'll be going back to that lab tomorrow anyway. On the next episode. On the next one. Like, can I fill this now? Like... What's that? Water container is empty. Boost juice. What about that is? Hey, no one likes a nosy neighbor. Grub leggings and grub goggles. Oh my god, I want the goggles so bad. The goggles are cool looking. Lava blade? Like a sword. Have a look at some of this stuff. It's very fast, but low damage. I 
feel like I should probably try and make this pretty soon though. I, I mentioned this earlier. The Red Ant Club. Just because I know it's slow but the damage is very high. Where, where do I find the gnats? I need the gnats. I want the bow. Really badly. So badly. I can get a shield. Raw weevil meat. Okay, so I need to kill some more weevils for the shield. A shield would be nice. So I'm currently wearing the clover hood, which is 2.5 resistance. Grub goggles is 5 resistance, tenderfoot offence and medium armour. Uh, I can actually make that now if I want. Gas guard. Nice. Better safe right. than sorry. Nice, got the goggles on. Right, defense wise, chest, I am wearing the clover poncho, which is 5%. Damn, the acorn jumps up to 15%. Even the um, the grub stuff is quite a jump as well. I kind of really want to get these shoes just because they're going to make me faster. Let's have a look at some of this. Uh, boost juice filled with vitamins and nutrients boosts your maximum stamina. Liquid rage, all sorts of dangerous things in drinkable form. Consuming this makes you feel way stronger. Also uh, increases your attack for a period of time. This heals, uh, which is algae. I'm guessing that is going to be near uh, bodies of water, the algae. Weed stem. A large sturdy building resource from felled dandelions and other stubborn growths like husky weeds. I don't think I've had access to them yet to be honest. So it seems like if I do want to build a base tomorrow I am going to need the weed stems. So I will need to find the dandelions. Are you still playing Dragon Dogma? Do uh, bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> Are you still playing Dragon's Dogma Two off stream? Yes, I am, Dan. I played some Planet Zoo today, though. I wanted something a bit more chill today after the stress of yesterday with the uh, issues I had with with VTube Studio, just like not wanting to find my cameras. It took me six hours to resolve the issues, so I didn't actually have a day to myself yesterday. And uh, yeah, I, I was before the stream, I was like, oh, do I go on DD2 or do I play Chill Planet Zoo? And I opted for <laughs> Chill Planet Zoo today. I might do some DD2 tomorrow though, maybe in the day. Yeah, I need the weed stems. The, the stuff looks really cute. The sprig railing looks absolutely adorable. Look at that. That looks amazing. I love it. Oh, I'm so like... There's so many things I want on this game. Science. 
what in this storage can I actually... Nice, loads of stuff in there, excellent. I've almost scanned everything that I have on me at the minute. And that's it for now. So if I just... I don't know if I can cook the mushrooms. I'll have to give that a go. That's fine. Um, I might actually craft another chest if I can. Just to put my, um, my armor in. My spare armor. There we go. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of healing on me, actually. I've just realised that my canteen isn't on my... Um, on my tools. is surprisingly not terrible. Is there a way for me to, like, save manually, or... Aphid on the move. I'm gonna use Fallout 76. It's free on Steam to try for just over 24 hours. Oh, nice. I've been enjoying the show so far. We've only seen a couple of episodes. Uh, maybe if I sleep, like, it'll save. Sleep till morning. It should save. How are you finding this game? I'm really, really liking it a lot. Super, super fun. I can see myself getting addicted to this. I'm probably going to want to play it tomorrow, but I'll resist because this is going to be a serious game, so, you know. Oh, I can manually save. Bloody hell. Save. There we go. Well, it's been super, super fun, everybody. Thank you so much for today. <laughs> I've had an amazing time on this game, actually. I've been really, really enjoying it. So thank you for sharing the experience with me. And uh, I hope you all tune in for more tomorrow. Tomorrow isn't a normal streaming day, but I didn't stream Monday because this was coming out today. So I'll be live tomorrow. 
just look out for the stream because it's either going to be 6pm again or earlier in the day. I'll probably go live at 6pm just so you all know what time it is actually. I think that'll be better. But thank you all so, so much. Don't forget to like on YouTube if you haven't done so already and uh, you can watch either on Twitch or on YouTube wherever you're comfiest and also check out all the links on my Twitch panels and also the video description on YouTube because there's lots of ways to support the channel, get behind the scenes access and loads of cool rewards if you want to do that and you can also get access to emotes via Twitch subscription or channel membership on YouTube, it all helps me out a lot. Um, thank you everybody for chilling, chatting, hanging out and um, I look forward to more of this tomorrow so take it easy everyone, love love love, thank you so much. Bye-bye.